How's it going today guys? My name is Ethan and welcome to Rapture and we are back in Resident Evil the Rose DLC I guess and we have gone to the house that Ethan Upstairs? I'll take a look Yeah that Ethan was in at the start of the game so to do decorate living room done get wine put in dining room yep Rose's up uh, Rose's other present is in study hidden. Okay. I'm so lucky to have you both in my life. What's that voice? Is that Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. She's so little. <laughs> Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. So Dad was a wine drinker. She bangs her spoon every time I play this. I wonder if she'll be a musician. I wonder if Dad played any instruments. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. I bet Dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. Okay. Weird. Nope, nope. Go through the store? Yep, alright. So we're gonna make our way upstairs eventually. <laughs> Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. Alright, that's everything in this room, I think. Oh, we'll do a quick save, why not? Anything in the hallway? It's not. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. Ethan, don't forget Rose's half birthday is on the second. I'm gonna make an amazing cake, so you better eat it. In fact, I'm gonna make a cake for every special occasion we have. I want you to take lots of pictures for our family out. I haven't seen mom in ages. Present might be uh, the, the the reason that story continues on. So I'm gonna quickly have a look around. This is my bedroom. <sighs> She's growing so fast, getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. She's already growing out of these onesies? I can't believe I was ever this tiny. February uh, 2 is Rose's half birthday. Half a year in a blink of an eye, I want to capture this moment, these feelings, so I wrote something special. I may have gotten a bit sappy though, I feel embarrassed if anybody stumbles across it. So it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key is behind my favourite photo. Okay. Alright, that's the one. 
I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. A letter for me? Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious Rose. Never forget that, Dad. No one loves you. No! No! Michael! Michael, help! Michael! No! isn't here. <laughs> so, you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> For that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will come! <laughs> Enough games. Now you'll drown. Well, now I want to know what the... I house. clean first. Does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond worthless! Seriously, what is your problem? Just so greedy. So many friends that it's never enough. Where do you think you're? Oh look, your families. Enough of this shit. Oh shit. So, I'm guessing. Michael, Could I'm guessing you made it Evelyn up. wanted um, Mia and Ethan to be there, both dying. Like, yeah, I think. But I didn't get to see what the the present said because I thought the present Evelyn, would have been the letter, pretty much. That little girl. Okay. 
Okay. We got anything else? No. All right. I guess we'll do a save. Double check. There's nothing anywhere. All right. Let's do it. Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. So Michael was Ethan. All right, yeah, that makes sense. Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. I'm on my own. But I well, have to keep I... going. I apologize about the sirens. Uh, oh, and they're just rushing past my house. What's all this doing out here? 
That's the... Okay. Oh, I've got... Okay, none of that left. I don't know, I just like everything being somewhat in order. Cool. Yeah. No, oh, no, can't make anything. Well, I've got quite a lot of, yeah, this Lamo, so it can't be too bad. Is this place? <sighs> what is that? I can sense something from over there. I was like, who the fuck is that? I can't what? see it. I was like, well, if, maybe if... Can I dodge it? Yep. All right. That one can... Ooh. I'm even stronger than before. one of the branches so I'll take that I need to find that crystal search the cave okay Those copies of me came from. Another safe point. Okay. Metamarcy absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws within which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalogue them as they become apparent. The memories that come comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Those who are attuned to metamycy in life retain control of their facilities in this realm. Okay, so like Rose did then. This aligns with my understanding of the metamycy as reveals to me in the visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the metamycy, yet I do not disappear. Uh, sorry. Yet I do not dis disappear for the fate granted me fascinating insight 
All those years I strived, have continued to strive, they are not for nothing. So is this Miranda? The memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I have accumulated in life have tra transferred here to Metamyce, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If it can harness, if I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement with so many minds and memories gathered here. Finding and retrieving a single person amidst this rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know the perfect vessel, the only real candidate in all my years of searching, Rosemary Winters. All right, so this is um. Been here. Okay, so that is um Miranda. God, more reading. All right, here we go. Uh, I had I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope a perfect replica might serve a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference was pre uh, preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but it has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hope of discerning the source and of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind so far. The fact that Rose herself is still alive, some some other actor within sorry, wait. The fact that Rose still herself is still alive, some other actor within this realm, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem essentially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is somehow bring Rose into this realm. Were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be simple. Okay. Additional observations. Further experiments with Rose copies as I've taken them. Ah, oh, okay, I see. So she's talking So Miranda's making all these fucking copies. As I've taken to call in these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. Uh... When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just one of the perform. Oh, so she. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time, could they? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. It would seem some point during my experiments with conscious. Consciousnesses is and an, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn, who has been running around, uh, running about in what, in, in act, enacting her own prideful agenda, which has led to an insight to a site disruption of my own plans. Evelyn has not, uh, ed, had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair. Dis dispossessed of her will to live and her Munimaxi's powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. Okay. Ooh. Gross. So, obviously, the big plan here is to get Rose to come in here, then to take over the daughter, so so then the daughter can take over Rose's body. Is that right? Like, I'm assuming. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. The pull that I've been feeling is close, but I just can't go any further. I thought it made it when I thought I made it when I saw the blue light, but no, quite not. Not quite. If only I've been braver, faster, stronger, so close. I was so I'm close. There. Michael. Why are you calling him Michael? You know it was your dad. It's through here. Black God which lives in us and in which we live. Create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds us for a second chance, graciously offered and joyous. Joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth. Not to destroy, but to preserve, and once again deliver unto life. The fuck? This is a toy 
blessed shit. Yeah, fucking right. It's weird as shit, man. All right, we're getting there. A lot this of crystals. I can feel it. Okay. So if she loses her powers, how the fuck is she gonna get out? That's a real question. It's working. Oh my god. Is this what normal feels like? <laughs> <laughs> Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. What? You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? Oh, shit. That was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! Fucking badass, mate. Come on. I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you. But I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent bastard! I got this. Get out of here! Don't worry, Dad. I 
I've got this! You think your powers would allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? Foolish. <laughs> oh, shit! How intent you were on my throwing them away? I think you just might. There will be wailing and gnashing of <laughs> And even if you were to survive, what would be the point? You can't save your father. You are of two different worlds. Oh. <laughs> to lure you but you're incredible well might change your mind when I put an end to your plan your time is at Within the Mega My Seat to resurrect my sweet dog. But no matter how many messes I've created, none have the power to reach her. That is why it must be. You are the only one who can bring her back to me. Whatever it takes, whatever I must do, I will see. Be by my side! Alright, I'll have to absorb both. Alright, let's do it. There's nothing. Rain. 
You will never be normal. Only I understand how special you are. You just won't give up. You really are. That stubborn that shines inside you makes you the perfect best. I do have first aids. Sweetie. Oh my God. You 
you're, you're so grown up now. And even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. back I'm back Think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like it. You think it does? <laughs> Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Did they just reuse that last scene?
They did, they just reused it. And here we are thinking that like it's it takes place after village, like after that last scene. But no, it takes place just before, so really we don't know anything that happens next. Phew. Oh yeah, I guess what I've got challenges. Cool. Can I do it like Oh no. Okay then. There we go. Well, there we go, guys. That was the end of the Shadows of Rose DLC. So pretty much we know nothing that happens after this point in the timeline now. Well, maybe there is something online, but as far as I know, I don't know anything about it. If you guys want to catch up with me or see anything else new or anything's coming from the channel, make sure to follow me on my Twitter, which is on the screen in front of you or in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.